church. We're going to go through town. Our church uh, narrowly missed any of the damage by less than a quarter of a mile, a mile um, which isn't much when you consider how big a tornado hits um, in, in the swath path that it creates. So we're just going to show you our perspective. And then after church, we, we brought our chainsaw and uh, our work clothes to be able to assist. You can already see that there's a trailer there. Um, this is one of the major trailers right off of I-75. Um, that was just the devastation that was uh, affected. And the roof of the powerhouse gym. So they just opened up this entrance um, or off ramp yesterday. Uh, and they've restored power yesterday. The crews have been working um, just tirelessly. But really, this part of town is what really got hit. Um, the tornado started, uh, that's on the southwest corner, and started and obviously headed uh, northeast. So the culvers that you guys see uh, on the video footage that you've seen throughout uh, the coverage uh, is down here on the left. You're going to see this. There's a crane there, and then there's a, white, a blue roof. Our three favorite places, this marathon on the right, Jay and I always go to, and the Culver's and Jimmy John's. But, uh, yeah, this is uh, Goodwill. And then this building, actually, this was a um, oil change company. And then Culver's, and actually, they've done a lot of cleaning up already. It's amazing how much they've cleaned up. Jimmy John's got taken out in the backside of Hobby Lobby, but that's where it started. That's where the tornado came across. And just, uh, you can still see the debris. Um, and our church is right down here on the right. So you can see over here where that tree is just ripped off and that's where the path came through behind the Gaylord Cinema. That house has been leveled. These seem to have escaped it. But this is Nottingham Forest and this is where the brunt of the home has been, of the place has been leveled. Sorry, uh, we've had police pulling out with sirens going on. And so the back here is uh, Jimmy John's and the back there is the uh, Hobby Lobby. Just the devastation is unimaginable. And this is cleaned up substantially compared to what it was. All the buildings there, the lights, and windows, I mean. So a lot of the things about tornadoes is it's not so much the wind. It, it's, I mean, that's just crazy back there. It's the debris that can be just as dangerous or worse. Where we're headed right now is our pastor's house. Uh, his backyard got affected. The big trees were torn down and so his roof uh, it swathed right behind him, um, and a lot of the homes were leveled behind him. Uh, but his house was spared, and his family was spared, considering. So the tornado came through here, came from back over there, the tornado came from back over there, through here. It's funny, it just wipes out one house with the van. can smell right now is um, pine everywhere. In that poor house, there's nothing left. There's nothing left of it. Did you push that tree down all by yourself? No? Are you sure? The wind blew it. The wind blew it? Where were you when the wind was coming through? In the 
basement for you. Are you scared? Yeah. Trying. Where are you? So there are a total of four trees. These are probably 50, 60 feet tall. Uh, maybe even 70, 75. Uh, three here, one, two, and three. And then one huge one up front that dropped on the neighbor's boat. Uh, the fence is probably destroyed. I can't see. Well, no more. And this house got off easy. And then this, this tree here smells absolutely incredible. So these gentlemen here, um, they just came up from downstate. They're a group of just really wonderfully good-hearted men who have the capability. And uh, so they just started driving through the neighborhoods and asking if uh, anybody needed help. So, and of course you guys know his day. Come about coming up here. You just decided that you were just gonna come up and help. Yep, we have an organization, Christian Disaster Relief, that does this type of thing. We like to do after storms, humanitarian work. Okay. That's what we like to do. showed up uh, with a trailer. Uh, nobody called him. He's just driving through the community and just checking to see where he can be of help. Uh, pulled up and uh, seeing that we're cutting the trees down uh, and just said start start loading it up. I'm so grateful because we would have been doing this forever because we, you know, That's amazing what can happen when a half dozen 30, 20, 30 people like that just go on it. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna make it.
So we don't know any of these people. And every time we get a lo good load of trees here, a truck just drives up just randomly with a trailer on the back and just starts loading up. I bet they do. We've been doing garbage all day, you know, wood. Wood, but it's almost all picked up. So we thought we'll come pick up some, some trees now. Well, thank you. That'll be an awesome bonfire. Because he could probably take that skid steer and just grab a hold of that post or something. Pre COVID dispense was like $6,000, so. Yeah, you, did you just put it in? Yeah. Like, uh, after we got here, we've only been here you know, two years, so. Less than two years old. a good kid. He was, yeah, he had some real tears. He, yeah. he thought we were going to die. Well, I mean, did it, like, did it do a siren, or what did it do? Well, well my phone went off, because they don't have sirens here. Right. But I had the alert clock on my phone, and then, um, I told him, and then my po our power cut off. I was on the phone with my boss, and so I ran to says, guys, I need you to get down to the basement, just in case. So I was pretty serious about it, and said there's a tornado, and I think that was enough for him to... It's all it was, been it was for me. cloudy and rainy and everything. And, you know, and, and so he well. says, Dad, are we going to die? Oh. He said, son, we're not going to die. And then look at him. Uh, it's a, it's Part of the solution. Overwhelming thing, you know, when you're yeah. in the middle of it. was actually on the other side of the fence, wasn't it? Well, if you look at the wood, it was like really, that, that tree must have been right on the fence. It's like, how is the... I'm trying to make sense of that, Jay. Is the fence on this side of it? The, the, tree, is, the tree is literally like right on the fence line. Because the fence the fence was just put in a year ago. It was? Yeah. Pastor just did that.
news crews out here. too old and nobody too young. Everybody is 59. People are just bringing everything that they have. There's no shortage of chainsaws, heavy duty equipment that you see right here. Um, they just pull up all of these big dually trucks here. Um, they just pulled up and they had uh, on their trailer uh, skid steers and heavy duty equipment. Um, truly a sight to behold. So. Uh, we have a truck here um, that just pulled in and they're already as you can see pretty loaded then there's another truck that just drove in he's got a trailer on standby uh, we didn't plan any of this uh, this started out it's just gonna be um four of us that we're gonna be helping um and <laughs> i would say i think we've probably had 50 or 60 people here so people just pull up uh with trailers in tow um, nobody knows anybody they're just everybody's pitching in and you, this trailer uh you guys didn't see it earlier i but there was uh the whole street the whole street was just lined completely lined with trailers and uh trucks so you saw me talking to these guys earlier um and they are christian disaster relief basically this is what they do as soon as they see that like a natural disaster they load up all their equipment and uh, they just, they go. And they stop wherever they see any need. And in our case, the, the trees were so large uh, that they saw it coming out here. And I, for one, am incredibly grateful because I knew this was going to be a long day for Jay and I, Mike and Lee, um, and Pastor, and uh, everybody else that was involved. Um, but there was only three chainsaws, and they were undersized chainsaws at that. Uh, but then you see every time we turn around somebody with another chainsaw shows up. So what a humbling experience in a world full of crazy. This gives me hope. These guys worked hard. 